Good day to all of you engineers and welcome back to WALTS, the Watch and Learn training system. This is the first and the only in the Philippines where ECEs can, views, can view tutorials and reviews for the ECE board exams. I'm engineer Melvin Arceo and today we're going to talk about field effect transistors. Now here is the problem. With the following parameters of a fixed bias configuration of FET, what is the VDS? So, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito ay yung voltage across the drain and across the source. This is our drain and this is our source. The voltage drop across this is what is being asked. Okay, the VDS. Uh, kompleto naman yung parameters natin. Kompleto naman yung given. We have a 16 volts here of VDT. You have the RD here. Okay. You have the IDQ. Uh, may VGSQ din tayo. VGSQ and IDQ are the components that is used to uh, get the cushion point or the Q point. We have also the RG and we have the VGG. Okay. And we also have the IDSS. This is the saturated current for the ID, which is 10 milliamperes. And we have the pinch of a voltage of negative 4.5 volts. Okay, so pinapahanap sa atin yung voltage across the DS. Okay, ngayon. Paano ba hahanapin yung VDS? Kailangan natin kunin yung equation on the side of the circuit using the KVL. At sa KVL, alam naman natin yan, gagawa tayo ng loop. Okay, to get the voltage drops across the resistor and across the DS. And of course, yung voltage source natin na 16 volts. Now, as the loop passes through the source, 16 volts, this is our VDD, kukunin natin yung sign, yung sign yan, no? which is positive. So, this will be positive VDD. Okay? And then, ano yung magiging voltage drop across the resistor? Sabi rin sa Kirchhoff's voltage law, yung voltage drop across the resistor, is also dependent on the direction of the current. If the current passing through the resistor is moving along the loop of uh, the arbitrary loop we have created, this will give us a negative voltage drop across the resistor. So this will become IDQ, which is the current passing through the resistor, multiplied by the RD para makuha natin yung voltage drop across the RD. Okay? And then passing through also, the uh, drain and of course this is the source kung mapapansin nyo yung loop natin palabas doon sa source which is negative in uh, negative in polarity so therefore yung voltage drop across the drain and the source will be minus VDS and we're going to equate this to zero now getting the value of the VDS this will give us positive VDD Okay, minus IDQ multiplied by RD. Okay, so ito yung equation na gagamitin natin. The VDS equals VDD minus IDQ multiplied by RD. Okay, ano pa ang kailangan natin? Yung VDD is already given, that is 16 volts. Okay, yung IDQ ay wala pa. So, kailangan pa rin natin kunin yung value ng IDQ. While yung RD naman natin ay given na rin, that is 2.2 kilo ohms. So, pag nakuha na natin yung IDQ, wala na tayong problema. Makukuha na rin natin yung value ng BDS. But I created a more presentable formula for uh, this problem. Ito yung formula natin. VDS is equal to VDD minus IDQ RD. Ito yung nakuha natin kanina nung nag-create tayo ng loop for the KVL. Okay, so VDD, wala na tayong problema. IDQ na lang ang ukunin natin. RD is also already given. So IDQ is by using the Shackless equation. IDQ is equal to IDSS, ito yun, 10 milliamperes, 1 minus VGSQ, which is the voltage drop across the, the, the gate and the source. Yun alam, ano ang value ng VGSQ natin? VGSQ is simply equal to negative VGG. So, ang VGG natin is 3 volts, so this will become negative 
3 volts. Okay, so ma nakuha na natin yung VGS VGSQ while VP is already given that is negative 4.5. Okay, ngayon, kung kukunin natin yung IDQ, that will be 10 milliamperes multiplied by 1 minus negative 3 volts. That is our VGSQ, 3 volts all over or over negative 4.5 volts square. Okay? Pagka kinumpute natin yan, yung IDQ natin will be 1.1 milliamperes. Ako ha? Okay. Now, substitute natin yung IDQ. Substitute natin ito dito sa value in getting the, or dito sa variable in getting the VDS. VDD is already given, RD is given. Nakuha na natin yung IDQ. So, therefore, makuha na rin natin ang VDS. And that is 16 volts minus 1.11 milliamperes multiplied by 2.2 kilo ohms. And this will give us 13.55 volts. And of course, the answer is letter D. Okay, so I hope nakatulong sa inyo ito. Thank you for viewing and I hope this will help you pass the board exams. Thank you very much.